Today I'm going to show you how to create an email configuration in Business Workflows. The first step is to log into Business Workflows app. Then we're going to click on Settings, Email, then Configuration. In here we're going to click on Email Configuration so we can create a new record. As you can see, the line of business is already set. This is according to the line of business we're currently working on. Then we have the company, it is automatically set to global. And on the email IDs field, I'm going to add the incoming email address. This is the um, address that the users are going to be sending their incoming emails to. Then on the incoming mailbox name field, I'm going to click on the menu and I'm going to select the incoming mailbox. This should be configured before uh, starting with these steps. The status should be active and we can add a description in here. And then we click on save. And now we have created our new email configuration. I'm going to click on it and as you can see it now shows some additional fields than before. So for the default case template to use in the email custom process fields, I'm going to leave it as is, but you have the option to um, use a case template or a custom process if needed. Now, uh, if you see in here, we have four tabs. For now, I'm going to just focus on the trusted email. In here, I'm going to click on the trusted email option. And in here, we're going to specify an email address or domains that will be allowed to send incoming emails to uh, Business Workflows. I'm going to do this. And with this, I'm ensuring that any email address that has the bmc.com domain is allowed to send incoming emails. In here, you have to select a map requester. I'm going to select App Admin, and then I'm going to click Save. I'm going to click Cancel. Yes, I don't want to save. Now, the second step is to go to Innovation Studio. In here, we're going to click on Administration. Then we're going to click on Email, then Email Profiles. We're going to click on New, and we're going to start with providing a profile name. Then we're going to select the mailbox function. In this case, we're going to do outgoing mailbox. Then we're going to select the outgoing mailbox from the menu. And the application, we're going to leave it as is. We're going to click on save. And now we have our new uh, email profile created. Now we're gonna go back to business workflows and then in this menu, we're going to click on line of business and then define line of business. So as you can see, uh, this is the line of business that we were creating the email configuration before. So I'm going to open this one. And where it says outgoing email profile, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select the email profile that we just uh, created. I'm going to click save. And that's it. That's all the steps that we need in order to create a new email configuration in Business Workflows. This will be all in today's video. Thanks for watching.